Hello guys, I'm Peter from Build a Boeing. Part two of my uh, fitting of OEM parts for my 727 cockpits. We are now stuck with the eyebrow windows. And as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, in the eyebrow windows, I need to do a bit of research on where to mount them on this piece of MDF. The height here, uh, according to the window frame and the, how far backwards they are going. So I did a bit of research and my research was uh, Googling and uh, looking at pictures on the internet. And uh, there's a beautiful seven, a 360 degree video of a, a 737 cockpit where you can get a lot of info. And this is one of them. And on this drawing, um, bear, uh, bear in mind one thing, this is the classic. And here you have the ceiling over here. And um, on the NG, the ceiling goes down here as well. Whereas on the classic, you have an extra piece of trim here. What I need to research here is how far backwards the eyebrow window here goes. And so I'm zooming in here, classic analog zoom by printing an extra motion. And what, uh, what should be noticed here, let's see if we get some light on, is this piece of bent that goes down here before the rail, it actually goes down and almost is aligned with the back part of the third window. Does that make any sense? So it goes... It goes back here and should more or less be aligned with this line that goes there. And this is the eyebrow window. So if we look at this piece of trim, which is the eyebrow window, you can see, well, this is then the first officer side, but you can see the bent go down here. Okay, so this should be aligned more or less with this line that goes here. And so if we try to put them, uh, put it on here, Let's see if we can do that. See that small bend that's right here? That fits almost perfectly with this bend here. So somehow, more or less, it should be placed like this. And you can see here, the bend is where this line for the third window is, uh, is aligned to, and it matches this small piece of trim up here. So somehow I need to mount the eyebrow windows here and if we do some extra research uh, or measurements it actually also fits the line that comes in here and meets uh, the side walls. So a bit of uh, woodwork in order to make these bends in here uh, which is no way uh, close to being 90 degrees in any directions. Make some trim that can fit this piece and then hopefully be able to mount them onto this piece of MDF, the sidewall here. That's the next job. So with all my talk of different measurements that doesn't fit, here's at least time for some celebration. This is the eyebrow window seen from the back. So this is the front window here and the sidewall runs down there and the cockpit is in here, okay? And um, on my measurements, you have a 40 degree bend here from the front window to the side wall and I've cut a piece of lock here in 45 degrees and just watch this it's flush now along the edge here and look at this wall you look at this it's also flush all the way down there which means we can confirm this is in fact a 45 degree angle hooray something fits that's just great so the eyebrow windows are now in place and you can see here it is actually a more or less a perfect fit. Uh, it's leaning it downwards a bit over here. You can see it is leaning down. And I think it has to do with the weight of the eyebrow window because it's mounted onto the MDF here, but uh, there's nothing out here supporting it. So I think just a pure weight is just pulling it down a bit. Once you get a structure built around this, uh, it should be level. And of course that piece of wood here needs to be replaced with something longer. Um, so that uh, I can build the front window but uh, as it is a bit heavy I just took a, a shorter and lighter piece of wood uh, to begin with and replace it later on. But it looks good and uh, it's a step forward but we have a saying in Danish uh, one step forward two step backwards and the step backwards has to do with the with the third window down here and this piece of trim because a guy from the Netherlands Jan he asked me about uh, the bend here and I wasn't aware of that. In my previous video I uh, talked about mounting a piece of wood all the way from up here and all the underneath here that goes all the way up in order to fix uh, to, to mount this so it doesn't move around that easily. 
And uh, Jan asked me, uh, Peter, can you confirm if there's a bend here? So when it comes down here, when it comes to here, it should bend out a bit like that. And well, honestly, I wasn't aware of that. So um, I, uh, I thought about that for a few days and I consulted the drawings and I can see, yes, he's right. There is a five degree bend right here. And then I looked at this piece of trim. And actually, if you look here, you can see here, it's about four centimeters, but the further back we go, the wider it gets. And back here, it's around seven centimeters, which indicates that there is actually a small bend. So you can't just put a, uh, a beam all the way across here and up there. It needs to bend there. So in order to do that, I had to invest in this. And I'm sure just by this lovely brown color, you can see that it is MDF. And I bought a few plates of MDF and right now it just goes straight across my garage. And I'm not able to move anywhere right now, which makes things even more a mess in here. So um, I need to chop this up as fast as possible. And uh, this, uh, this piece has already been chopped into window sills, which you can see right there in a rough version. I need to do a bit of fairing and sanding and then uh, painting and then hopefully I'll be able to mount it onto the side here and it should fit hopefully well it will fit of course it will um that was one step backwards that I just had to make those window sills up there um the other step backwards is that uh, in this process I've um with the drawings and looking at the drawings I'm considering also making side walls right now from the rest of the MDF over here because the windowsill is laying on top of the side walls. So if I don't have the side walls, I don't have the correct height for mounting these parts. Does that make sense? So right now I'm um, I'm considering if the next next week either should be side walls so that this will be perfect down here, or I should go ahead and make a structure for the eyebrow window so that I can get the ceiling in place. But it seems a bit premature to me to start making this structure and move that around if I need to 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 carry this around in order to make it uh, be placed on top of a new set of side walls. So I might just take a few days or a few weeks pause from the OEM liners and concentrate on making new side walls for both sides of the cockpit. So that is the status right now. Uh, everything is just messy in here because I can't move around and everything as you can see here is covered in sawdust from the MDF that I've cut in the last couple of days. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to chub it up and uh, get some space back. And let's see how it goes uh, when I do the next video in a few weeks. For now, I'm Peter from Bilderberg. You guys take care. Bye-bye.